Good afternoon, dear students. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes. Okay. One minute. Okay. So, so we were discussing electrochemistry. Okay, so let us revise. Uh, so what all things we are uh, we have uh, discussed till now? Okay, so let us revise and then proceed further. So till then, others can also join. So what we were discussing? So we were discussing about the topic electrochemistry. Okay, so what do you mean by electrochemistry? As we have studied. Okay that electrochemistry is nothing but it is the branch of chemistry which deals with the study of production of electricity. That is, it is interconversion of chemical energy into electrical uh, energy, right? So, this, uh, it will undergo what electrochemistry? So, this, uh, it will undergo what? It will undergo a spontaneous chemical reaction, okay? spontaneous chemi chemical reaction and we make use of electricity to bring about the non-spontaneous chemical transformations. Okay. So now, so what are the importance of electrochemistry? So it is used in production of metals like sodium, magnesium, calcium, aluminum, electroplating, okay, for electroplating. Then for purification of metals, so you know that metals, okay, they won't be, uh, you don't get metals uh, in pure state, okay, they will be in, in pure state, in pure state means if you want to extract some uh, uh, one metal, okay, so that metal, it will be mixed with some other impurities, some other uh, uh, metals also will be there, metals on it. So, so, we, uh, so uh, by doing electrochemistry, what you can do, you can purify the metals, then for batteries, okay, batteries, uh, the battery cells which you use in remotes, right, as well as the batteries which we uh, use in the vehicle and all, right. So, uh, different types of batteries, we make use of electrochemistry. Then, uh, it, uh, then explanation of natural phenomena like corrosion. So, you are, so these all things, okay, so we are discussing in this chapter. Right. So, then we had discussed about the conductors. Right. So, conductors are what? So, the substance which pass the uh, electric current. Okay. Through them, they are called as the conductors. Okay. So, in this conductors, there are two types. One is metallic conductor. Another was the electrolytic conductor. What do you mean by metallic conductor? Metallic conductor. Okay. So, so the substances which allow the electric current to pass through the movement by the movement of electrons okay so the substances which allow the electric current to pass through them by the movement of electrons is called as metallic conductors because metals uh, it consists of what electrons okay so metals can readily take electrons and they can give electrons so metal when you talk about metal substances okay so there uh, there is an involvement of electron electrons so movement of these electrons okay so, uh, it gives rise uh, to the metallic conductors. So, we have discussed what it depends on. Then, next was electrolytic conductors or it is also called as electrolyte. So, what do you mean by that? So, the substances which allow, okay, the passage of electricity through the uh, molten or aqueous solution, okay. Then, it is called as the electrolytic, uh, electrolytic conductors, okay. So, what are the examples? For example, your acid, bases and salts. So, these are the things. So, electrolyte means involvement of ions. Metallic conductors means involvement of metals. Okay. So, remember this. Then, we have also seen the differences. Okay. We have seen the differences between the metallic and electrolytic conductors. Right. Then, we had also discussed about the types of electrolyte. Okay. What are the types of electrolyte? So, the electrolytes are mainly two types, that is strong mm -hmm. electrolytes and weak electrolytes. What do you mean by strong electrolytes? So, the electrolytes that completely dissociates, okay, into ions, they are called as what? Strong electrolytes. For example, your 
एच सी एल एन एओ एच के टू एसओ फोर ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट देन वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सो वॉट इज द वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट फर्स्ट सो दीज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट दे विल डिसोसिएट पार्शली ओके वॉट यू मीन बाय दैट इट विल नॉट गेट डिसोसिएटेड कंप्लीटली ओके पार्शली मीन्स ओके सो इट विल गेट पार्शली डिसोसिएट ओके so uh, such electrolytes are called as weak electrolytes so the example is acetic acid okay h2co3 then ammonium hydroxide and hydrogen sulfide so so these also we have seen then we had discussed about the characteristics okay so the differences between what is electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell so this also we have seen so just again we'll just revise okay so we have discussed what is the galvanic cell so before that we had also discussed what is a electrochemical cell yes what do you mean by electrochemical cell students yes what was the definition of electrochemical cell what do you mean by electrochemical cell a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy yes electrochemical cell good so electrochemical cell okay so we have seen the best example was galvanic cell and another type of cell is a electrolytic cell so my comfort okay so uh, so what is electrolytic cell what so so the device which is used to convert the chemical en energy into electrical energy so we have studied the best example of electro chemical cell was the daniel cell okay what we have studied was the daniel cell okay so we know that we took two uh, beakers okay so in one beaker there was zinc electrode dipped in the zinc sulfate solution right and this was the uh, copper uh, in copper sulfate solution right then uh, these electrodes were connected externally to the voltmeter so current supply was uh, attached so this is anode okay negative terminal and this is cathode right so at anode your oxidation takes place and at cathode your reduction takes place so these things we have seen right the uh, the flow of electric current and the flow of the electrons okay is uh what vice versa okay it is opposite you can say it is opposite so these things we have seen then we have also seen the reactions at anode reactions at cathode reactions so here okay then we have seen how to write the cell representation we have seen how to write the cell representation how can we represent this galvanic cell so we have studied the construction and working of the daniel cell okay then what is this electrolytic cell so electrolytic cell is what so in one uh, beaker okay so electrolyte is there and two electrodes are present so these two electrodes are connected to what it is connected to a battery okay it is connected externally to a battery okay so one is a anode ring and another is a uh, positive okay so in electrochemical cell which is the anode okay so that in electrolytic cell it is the cathode so it is reverse in electrochemical cell which is the cathode it is the anode okay so we will see so these are the differences then second is so uh, as we know electrochemical cell it is a combination of two half cell containing the same or different electrodes in the same or different electrolytes and what is electrolytic cell it is a single cell which is containing the same electrodes present in the same electrolyte okay what are the nature of electrodes so as i have said now anode is negative cathode is positive and in, in case of electrolytic cell anode is positive and cathode is negative okay it is vice versa okay it is vice versa then how is the movement of electrons so in uh, your galvanic cell from anode to cathode so the movement of electron is from anode to cathode then the movement of uh, electrons okay in uh, electrolytic cell is it, it, uh, the electrons will enter through okay and, and leave by okay it will uh, it will leave by anode so like this so from positive to negative terminal then spontaneity uh, cell reaction is spontaneous okay the cell 
reaction which we get it is a spontaneous reaction okay and uh, spontaneous okay then uh, salt bridge then we are talking about the salt bridge so salt bridge where we are using salt bridge in electrochemical cell so why why we use salt bridge students i have told you why we use salt bridge Yes, why do you use salt bridge? Yes. So salt bridge, it is used for the movements of electron, okay? Because there are two different half cell reactions. So the for the movements of the electron from this to this, we are using what salt bridge so that the mobility of electrons, uh, okay, mobility is uh, of the ions, not electrons, mobility of the ions, okay. So for the movement of ions or mobility of ions, uh, what we are using, the salt bridge, okay. So in electrolytic cell, it is not required, but in electrochemical cell, it is required. So these were the main differences, okay. Then, uh, then we are discussed about the electrochemical cell. What is electrochemical cell? Okay, so it is a, a process or it is a device in which chemical energy of a spontaneous reaction is carried into, converted into electrical energy. So, an electrochemical cell, okay, which is having a constant EMS, it is called as a standard cell, okay. So, galvanic cell is, is also called as the voltaic cell. So, the standard cell which we are making use of is a galvanic cell. So, that we have seen, right. Then, we know how to write the general representation of the cell. We have seen the general representation of the cell. Okay, M1 and M2, what it represents? It, rep it represents the metal uh, electrode, okay. And it is uh, it is dipped in it. So, this one single uh, slash, what it, uh, what it represents? It represents a different phase. So, metal is... Uh, that is a rod dipped in its corresponding uh, what in its corresponding electrolyte okay which is aqueous state and double uh, uh, lines what it indicate double lines double lines indicates that uh, there is a salt bridge present okay double line indicates a salt bridge is present so then is your corresponding uh, that is the aqueous solution second okay that is M2, we represent by M2, which is dipped in the metal. Okay, it's electrode. So, we have seen that is zinc in Zn plus 2, aqueous. Okay, and copper plus 2, aqueous, dipped in copper solid rod. Okay, so like this. So, this is a at anode and uh, at cathode reaction. So, we know that at anode, oxidation takes place and at cathode, reduction takes place. Okay. So, these were the electrochemical cell. Then we have also seen that when you connect external, uh, externally, when you uh, apply the potential. Okay. So, we have seen the potential difference also. So, that is when uh, electron hole, uh, that is a, when uh, this what? Uh, uh, the EMF of the cell is less than 1.1. What will happen? The electron will flow from zinc to copper. Okay, and when electron cell, uh, that is EMF of the cell is 1.1, there won't be any chemical reaction. And when EMF of the cell is more than 1.1, what will happen? The electron flows and current will flow from uh, zinc to copper. Okay, so these things also we have discussed. Then electrolytic cells, electrochemical and electrolytic cells. So this also things we have discussed. Okay, so this all uh, very important as we have to uh, I have told you. Okay, in the previous class, Daniel cell. Okay, Daniel cell. So it is represented like this. Okay, at one side, so these are, it is made up of two half cells. Okay, in one half cell you have a zinc. Okay, zinc rod dipped in the zinc sulfate solution, and in another, another uh, this you have a copper rod in copper sulfate solution. So zinc here is acting as a reducing agent, and your copper is acting as a Copper 
is acting as a oxidizing agent okay so the half cells okay so what is happening okay so this is one oxidation half cell another is reduction half cell so it is undergoing redox reaction in this daniel cell so your the oxidation half is at anode and the uh, what uh, your uh, reduction half uh, it occurs at cathode okay so we know that the electron flow uh, flow is from anode to cathode and uh, the current flow is from cathode to anode so it is an opposite direction so these things we have discussed uh, so the representation and the construction of the cell okay it should be proper okay it should be properly executed okay fine so then we have also discussed the uh, cathode anode reaction so at anode just go through this yes so we have discussed this okay just i am revising once more so at anode and at cathode reaction, so cell reaction and how it is represented, okay. Representation of the cell. So first will be your anode, at anode what will come that you have to write, then your uh, your salt bridge will come and then, then will be your yeah, cathode, okay. So from oxidation and reduction, so like this you have to represent, okay. So these are the things to be remembered in respect to electrochemical cell. Okay. So salt bridge. Okay, salt bridge. Why it is used? So salt bridge it connects the two electrolytic solutions of an electrochemical cell. We know that there are two different uh, what uh, beakers. Okay, two two different half cells. So to connect, to connect this two electrolytic solution, because in one you have copper sulfate, another you have a zinc sulfate. To connect these two electrolytic solution, we are making use of the salt bridge. So what is the function of the salt bridge? It completes the circuit and allows the flow of current. Okay. And it maintains the electrical neutrality on both the sides. So main, very important. So this question can be asked, what is the uh, function of the salt bridge? So important, mark this important, the second point. Okay, so it maintains the electrical neutrality on both the sides. Okay, so what is the function of salt bridge? It maintains the electrical neutrality on both sides. So, and also what the salt bridge is made up of what? Okay, salt bridge is made up of what? So, uh, salt bridge is generally contains of a strong electrolyte such as potassium nitrate. Okay, or uh, KCl that is potassium chloride in agar agar or gelatin gel so uh, where uh, the salt bridge is uh, this is present salt bridge it generally con uh, contains what it contains the strong electrolyte such as potassium nitrate or and potassium chloride okay in agar agar or gelatin gel then uh, kcl uh, especially what is preferred in the salt bridge is kcl so kcl is preferred because the transport number of k plus and cl minus are almost same so, okay so because of the uh, this, okay, the most preferred salt bridge is made up of KCl, potassium chloride. Okay. Then in the last class, we were discussing about the uh, electrode potential, right? So what do you mean by electrode potential, standard electrode potential? So these things we have discussed in our previous class. So when an electrode is in contact with the solution of its ions in a half cell, okay. So when uh, we have seen that, okay. So I'll give you the example. So suppose I take one oxidation half cell, okay. Oxidation half cell. So oxidation half cell means what? What is present? So a zinc electrode, okay. It is dipped in the zinc sulfate solution. So this is the oxidation reaction so this is a zinc rod this is zinc rod dipped in what zinc sulfate solution okay now when this electrode when this electrode okay when this electrode it is dipped in what when it comes in contact with its ion okay in the half cell so what is the uh, what is the function what happens so either okay either it has a tendency to lose electrons so either the electrons will be loosed or it will gain electrons or what it will gain electrons okay so the, such they are called as what electrode potential so thus they are called as what 
electrode potential so when so consider a half cell so if you consider a half cell so the rod okay when its electrode is dipped in its ions okay when its electrolytic ions so either it has a tendency to lose electrons or gain electrons okay and this electrode potential okay it is expressed in volts volts okay it is expressed in volts so volts is the unit okay so this electrode potential it is a intensive property what do you mean by intensive property it is independent of amount of species in the reaction okay it is independent of the amount of species in the reaction okay then so this potential difference so the potential difference which is developed between this electrode and its ions okay it is called as what electrode potential so the potential difference the potential difference which is developed okay by this electrode and its ion is called as what is called as electrode potential so it is represented by e electrode it is represented by e electrode okay so the electrode potential will be named as what this is named as oxidation potential because this is of zinc one half cell then if you represent for copper okay that is copper sulfate in uh, copper rod in copper sulfate so that is reduction potential so depending on what so depending on what the whether oxidation or reduction takes place so the uh, respective uh, potentials are found out okay so the potential difference how it is expressed the potential difference it is expressed between the uh, that is when the uh, electrode comes in contact with the ions okay so that potential difference which is created it is called as the electrode potential so either what will happen that time in the reaction either there will be uh, uh, there will be loss of electrons or there will be gain of electrons so this potential difference which is created it is called as the electrode potential okay so we know this now what is oxidation potential okay at oxidation what happens there will be loss of electrons okay so when the electrode when it comes in contact with its ions and when there will be loss of electrons then such a potential difference is called as what oxidation potential okay then uh, when uh, what is reduction potential now okay at reduction what will happen there will be gain of electrons so when the electrode when, when the electrode comes in contact with the ions and there will be gain of electrons then it is called as reduction potential it is called as reduction potential so it is represented like this so the half cell okay so the metal will uh, okay give you the copper uh, mn plus 2 ions okay that is n plus ions plus electrons are loose and in the reduction the electrons are gain okay so this is the two half cell reaction so oxidation what happens there will be the, uh, the electrode when it come to, come, comes in contact with the ions there will be loss of electrons and in reduction potential when the electrons comes in contact with the ions there will be gain of electrons okay so in the last class we have also discussed about the standard electrode potential right so standard electrode potential means what yes in the last class we have discussed about standard electrode potential so the potential difference developed between the metal electrode and the solution of its ions of unique molarity that is so standard values okay so the potential difference the potential difference which is developed okay which is developed by the electrode and its solution of its ions of of unit molarity of unit molarity at one atmospheric pressure okay at one atmospheric pressure and and 25 degree at and 25 degree okay and 25 degree then it is called as what standard electrode potential it is called as standard electrode potential okay i'll i'll repeat it okay uh, so the color is bit light here okay so i'll repeat so what is standard electrode potential it is represented by e naught okay 
So the potential difference which is occurred or developed between the electrode and its ions, uh, that is its solution, when uh, the uh, when its ions are of unit molarity at one atmospheric pressure, unit molarity means at one of one molar at one atmospheric pressure and 25 degree, okay, it is called as the standard electrode potential. How it is denoted? It is denoted by E0 electrode. How it is denoted? E0 of electrode, okay. And it can be standard reduction potential or standard oxidation potential. So, when the temperature uh, is 25 degree, okay, and the atmospheric pressure is one atmospheric pressure and the concentration is one molar, okay, then the potential difference which is uh, found out, which is carried out, it will be a standard electrode potential. So, same way, okay, if it is occurring at the oxidation, then it is standard oxidation potential. If it is uh, uh, present at uh, your reduction part, Okay, then it is a standard reduction potential. So, okay. So, next is a reference electrode. So, what reference electrode is taken? Yes. So, the electrode of known potential is called as the reference electrode. So, uh, the primary reference electrode is standard hydrogen electrode, SHE. Okay, in the last class, we have discussed about SHE also. So, standard hydrogen electrode, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so, this is a primary electrode, standard hydrogen electrode, whose potential difference is known. Okay, whose potential difference is known. It is called as the primary reference electrode. And the second primary reference electrode is what? It is a calomel electrode. It is a calomel electrode. So these two electrodes are taken as the references. So this is a primary reference. This is a secondary reference electrode. That is a calomel electrode. So remember these two. Okay, so reference electrode, why it is taken? Because the cell potential is known. Okay, their uh, electrode potential is known. Okay, so this is the SHE. Okay, let us see once more. What is SHE? So, this is a beaker, okay, beaker, okay, in this beaker, what you can see, there is the ions, that is H plus ions are there, okay, which is of one molar, okay, the concentration is one molar. In this, what is present, a platinum uh, wire is taken, platinum wire is taken, okay, and it is dipped, and to this, okay, it is covered with a inverted tube, okay, a jacket, so a inverted jacket, jacket is put for this. And the temperature condition is 25 degree and the atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. So, hydrogen gas, okay, at 1 atm pressure is blown from this end, okay. So, the, this is the working or uh, this is the construction of your SHE. This is the construction of SHE, okay. Now, SHE, what it is called as? Standard hydrogen electrode. What it is called as? Standard hydrogen electrode what it consists of. It consists of a platinum wire, okay. Platinum wire and it consists of a platinum fo foil, okay. Platinum foil which is coated with a finely divided platinum black, okay. It is coated with, it is, it is coated with the finely black, uh, finely divided uh, uh, platinum black, very important, okay. Then, this wire, okay, the, the wire is sealed into a glass tube. So, you can see an inverted glass tube, okay, and this inverted glass tube, it is placed in the beaker, which is cons uh, which consists of one molar HCl, okay, which consists of one molar HCl. Okay, so whatever the wire is there, the platinum wire, what is done to the platinum wire? It is sealed, okay, it is sealed in this glass tube and this glass tube, it is placed in what? It is placed in this beaker, which is containing one molar HCl. Okay, so what is done from this end of the uh, sealed glass? Okay, the hydrogen gas is blown. Okay, hydrogen gas is passed or it is bubbled, okay, at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. At 
298 kelvin okay so this is the working okay so this is the working of SHE. so construction and working of SHE very important so mark this as important so standard hydrogen electrode so you have to uh, draw the diagram and explain these things okay now how do you represent the half cell so this is one half cell right so platinum the platinum electrode or wire it is dipped in what it is dipped in the okay hydrogen gas is passed at one atmospheric pressure and it is dipped in what aqueous solution of hcl which is one molar okay which is one molar so this is the uh what this is the construction and working okay so this is the construction and working of your standard hydrogen electrode is it clear up to here okay Okay, so let us study about more about standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, so as we have discussed, standard hydrogen electrode, it can be taken as a reference electrode, okay. So it can be taken, okay, as a cathode also, it can be taken as anode also. So if you take it as cathode, okay, if you take as cathode, the reaction, what will happen at cathode? Cathode, there will be a reduction, right? We know that at cathode, reduction takes place. So 2H plus aqueous plus two electrons will give you H2. Okay. So this is the, so E0, how it is given? E0 is given as H plus by H2. Okay. So this is about your what? This is about your reduction reaction. So SHE, that is your standard hydrogen electrode, it can be taken both as electrode, uh, sorry, as a cathode as well as anode. So at cathode, what will happen? Reduction takes place at cathode reduction takes place okay then at anode what is happening at anode at anode oxidation takes place at anode oxidation takes place okay so how the oxidation takes place uh, then h2 gas giving you 2h plus aqueous plus two electrons okay so here what happens for the e0 of the cell e0 of the cell is h2 h plus bar h2 okay so this electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode is fixed, right? The potential difference is fixed of reference electrode. So it is, what is the value? What is the value? It is 0, 0.0 volts. Okay, it is 0, 0.0 volts. So the potential difference of these two are fixed. Uh, that is of the hydrogen, standard hydrogen electrode is fixed. So it can, uh, it, can uh, it can be acting as a cathode also. It can act as a anode also. Because they are, uh, ref the, they are used as a reference electrode and they are, uh, what, they are, uh, 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 electrode potentials are fixed. Okay, so the value is fixed here, you can see. But what is the drawback? Okay, what is the drawback or limitations? What are the limitations for the SHE? Okay, what is the limitations for SHE? It is difficult to maintain one atmospheric pressure of H2 gas. So, uh, we have seen in the uh, construction part. So on the platinum wire, we are covering with the tube. Okay, glass tube. Okay, uh, 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 glass tube is covered and that glass tube is placed on in the beaker, right? So it is very difficult to maintain the one atmospheric pressure. So that what is done at from one corner, you are blowing the uh, hydrogen gas, right? Hydrogen gas is uh, uh, bubbled through this end okay at one atmospheric pressure and to uh, bubble the hydrogen gas into this uh, tube okay it is very difficult 
task. Then it is very difficult to maintain the H plus ion concentration of one molar. So in the beaker, what we have, we have HCl and this HCl is of concentration one molar. So it is very difficult to maintain that also. So these are the two drawbacks. Then the third one is what? The platinum electrode is easily poisoned by traces of impurities. So this platinum wire, which is there, okay. Uh, so this platinum wire, it gets easily po poisoned, okay. It gets easily poisoned by traces of impurities. So when it comes in contact with any impurities, your uh, what? Platinum electrode, what will happen? They will uh, get easily poisoned, okay. So hence, calomel electrodes are conveniently used as reference electrodes. So because of that, Calomel electrode, it is used as a reference electrode. So what does calomel electrode consist of? Very important, okay, for your, from your CET point of view and all. So calomel electrode, what it consists of? It consists of a mercury, okay, mercury in contact with Hg2Cl2, okay, and uh, that is HgCl2 paste in the saturated solution of, in saturated solution of KCl, in uh, saturated solution of KCl, okay. So, what is platinum? Uh, it consists of what? It consists of a mercury, okay, which is uh, which is uh, which is, uh, comes in contact with the uh, Hg2Cl2 that is calomel, okay, in a saturated solution of KCl, okay. So, this is about your standard hydrogen electrode. So next is EMF of the cell. So how to calculate the EMF of the cell? Okay, how do we calculate the EMF of the cell? EMF is nothing but electromotive cell. So the difference, okay, the difference. So now we know that there are two electrode potentials. Okay, we know that there are two electrode potential. So the difference, uh, what is electrode potential? The tendency of uh, to lose or gain the electrons when the electrode comes in contact with its ions. Right. So we have two uh, cells. So at one cell, your uh, oxidation takes place. In another cell, your reduction takes place. So the difference which is between these, uh, what uh, oxidation potential and uh, reduction uh, uh, potential, okay, that is your uh, oxidation half cell and reduction half cell and cause the flow of current from electrode of a higher potential to electrode of a lower potential. So this measure, okay, the measure of free energy chain. So the measure of free energy chain, it is given by standard EMF, okay, that is standard EMF of the cell. So the standard EMF of the cell between the two half cells can be calculated as E naught of cell is equals to E naught of cathode minus E naught of anode. So like this, you can calculate the EMF of cell. So this is a very important formula. So how can we calculate the EMF of the cell? So EMF E naught of the cell, that is a standard electrode EMF of the cell. It can be calculated by E cathode and E anode. So cathode, we know that it will be on the right hand side. Okay, right hand side when you are writing the two half cell. So which is present on the right hand side. So that is your uh, cathode. Okay. And this is your anode. So what we are going to write, so we can also write as E naught of cell is equals to E of right minus E naught of left. Okay. So the, these are the differences. Okay. So uh, if, if, if they have asked you to calculate the uh, standard electrode potential, so you have to calculate by uh, taking the difference between the E naught of cathode minus E naught of anode. Okay. Fine. So next is, next we'll see now what is the difference between this EMF and cell potential, okay. So potential difference is what? Potential difference between the two electrodes when no current is flown in the circuit is nothing but your EMF. 
So when we are not passing any current, okay, so the potential difference which is occurred between the two electrodes is called as the EMF, that is electromotive force. And what is cell potential? The potential difference of the two's half cell when electric current flows through the half potential. So the difference between the two half cells, okay, when the current you are passing, okay, through the cell, it is called as what? It is called as the cell potential, okay. Then second is EMF is maximum, okay. Uh, EMF is the maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell and it gives maximum work obtained from the cell. In cell potential, it is always less than the maximum voltage which is obtained from the cell. So work obtained is less than the maximum work from the cell. EMF can be measured by potentiometer, the instrument called as potentiometer and cell potential, it can be calculated how? It can be calculated by using voltameter. Okay, so these are the main differences. So we have seen Daniel cell, how to write the Daniel cell. Zinc uh, rod dipped in zinc sulfate. So for Daniel cell, we know that zinc sulfate, uh, zinc rod is dipped in the zinc sulfate solution and copper rod is dipped in the copper sulfate solution. So how is the cell reaction taking place? So at anode, your oxidation takes place. At cathode, your oxidation uh, reduction takes place. Okay. So zinc is acting as anode and copper is acting as a cathode. So when you want to calculate the EMF of the cell, that is E0 of the cell. So E0 of the cell can be calculated as E cathode minus E anode. E0 of anode. Okay. So what is E cathode? E cathode, what is the value? It is between copper 2 plus and copper minus E naught of Zn plus 2 by Zn. So, some uh, uh, potential values are given. So, that we'll see in the next slide. Okay. So, potential uh, values are given. So, for E naught of copper plus 2 by copper is plus 0 0.34 minus and the value of E naught of Zn plus 2 bar Zn is minus of 0 0.76. So after calculating, you will get it as 1.10 volts. So this is the E0 of cell. Understood? So this is the E0 of the cell. So E0 of the cell, how can we calculate the E0 of the cell? By taking the E cathode minus E anode. Is it clear up to here? Is it clear up to here? Yes, so we have seen the values here, okay, while calculating the E0 of cell, you can see the standard values, right, standard uh, electrode potential values, so these standard electrode potential values, okay, are given, okay, how they are given, so they are given in a electrochemical series, so let us see next is electrochemical series, okay. Now what are these electrochemical series, so it is the arrangement of different electrodes when it is uh, in the increasing order of the standard reduction potential. So when you are taking out the standard electrode potential of different electrodes and when you arrange them in their increasing order, you will get the electrochemical series. Okay. So electrochemical series. So let us go for the electrochemical series. So the, this is not important. So these are the electrochemical series. Okay. So electrochemical series, you can see the, uh, your what is happening? So electrochemical series decreasing the standard reduction potential value. So you can see the values are, uh, so this is the above one. Okay, so these are the strong oxidizing agent and these are the 
uh, strong reducing agent. Okay. So the up, upper one, and this is the standard your reference. Okay, this is a reference electrode. Okay, this is your reference electrode. So this is the arrangement of electrochemical series. Okay. So uh, the values will be given. The values are given. So when the calculation part is there, when your questions are asked, okay, that is uh, uh, to solve the questions. So that time we are making use of this electrochemical series. So you can see the different values, right? Okay. So we, you can see that below the reference electrode, you, all the values are negative and below above the reference electrode, the values are positive, right? Is it clear up to you all? Yes. Okay. So non-s equation, so we have to start with non-s equation. Okay, so just I'll explain you non-s equation and the remaining parts, okay. So the, how to uh, take the non-s equation, so that we'll discuss in tomorrow's class. So I'll just explain this particular slide. So non-s equation, okay, what it relates, okay, what it express, so it relates mathematically the electrode potential of an electrode or cell potential of an electrochemical cell with their standard states at different concentration and temperature. So this uh, the mathematical expression. So this is a mathematical expression of non equation. So this mathematical expression of non equation, what it refers, it refers to the electrode potential of an electrode or cell potential of an electrochemical uh, cell. Okay, electrochemical cell with their standard states and different concentration and temperature. So this, uh, the electrode potential of any electrode, okay, at any concentration, it is measured with respect to the SHE, that is standard hydrogen electrode. So if you consider this reaction, that is a uh, reduction reaction, okay, so you can see that E0 uh, of Mn plus by M is equal to E0 of Mn plus by M minus 3.303 RT to the base and net log to the base 1 by Concentration of Mn plus. Okay. Then if you substitute this, it will give you will get so instead of this, okay, what they have done, if they have taken the value as 0 0.0591. So this is the uh, equation which we are making use of. Okay. So the molar concentration is expressed in the brackets. So when you are expressing the concentration, it will be in the brackets. So 2.303 into R. What is the value of R? Standard values, okay. What is the standard states or values? So 2.303 into a, R is your 8.314. What is the temperature at 25 degree? So the temperature will be 25 plus 273, that is 298 divided by N. Okay, N into F. What is Faraday value? It is 96,500 Coulomb. So if you solve this, what you will get? You will get a 0 0.059. Okay, so that only we have substituted here. So, non equation, it is represented like this, okay. So, your N, what does N represent? N represent the number of electrons which are taking part, okay, in oxidation or reduction process. So, this is the non equation, okay. So, non equation, why it is used? It is used mathematically to express the electrode potential of the electrode or cell potential of a electrochemical cell, okay, with their standard states, okay. So, this is about non equation. Is it clear? Okay. So, uh, this was, okay, about non equation.
So the remaining things we'll be discussing in the next class. So anything you want to ask, any doubts? Yes, any doubts? Okay, fine. So, remaining the nerds equation and all things we'll be discussing in the next class. Okay. So, I'll end the session here. Okay. So, we'll meet in the next class. Okay.